Diesel and Parts Radiator to suit the Toyota Hilux, RZN and LN. Two wheel drive utes from the 10th of 97 to the 1st of 2005. Okay, this is for the petrol engines only. Okay, there is a few uh, diesel variants within that year, but uh, this is for the petrol type only. Okay, with the later 2005 models as well. Okay, there's also two types within the petrol engines. The easiest way to tell is with this cap here. Okay, as you can see, the cap on this one is more towards the passenger side of the vehicle. Okay, with the later 2005 models, this cap will be directly in the centre of the top tank. Okay, and this overflow pipe here will be facing towards the back of the vehicle. Okay, so that's for the later 2005 models. As you can see with this, the cap's more towards the passenger side and the overflow pipe is facing towards the passenger side. Okay, so that's the easiest way to tell between those two models. I'll just run through a few of the features on here. Like I said, with this top tank, you've got your cap there. Okay, and over here on the, on the driver's side of the car is where you find the top hose. Okay. We've got your brackets fitted to each side, okay? They're for fitting to the vehicle, and you've also got your band fittings as well. Okay, across the bottom, we've got your automatic transmission oil cooler. Okay, this is suitable for both automatic and manual transmission. If you've got the manual transmission, these fittings can just be very easily removed. Okay, if you've got the automatic transmission, as you can see, the fittings are supplied with the radiator, okay? Over here again, almost directly under the cap, on the passenger side of the vehicle is the bottom hose. Okay, and directly in the centre you've also got the drain here as well. Okay. Let's quickly turn it around. Okay, this is the front of the vehicle. So if you were standing in the very front of the vehicle, looking into the engine bay, this is the top view that you would have. Okay, you can see over again towards the passenger side of the vehicle is where you find your cap with the overflow pipe facing towards the uh, passenger side of the vehicle on the outside. Maybe on the driver's side of the vehicle is the top hose. Okay. And also if you look down towards the bottom of the radiator, you can see that again over here on the passenger side of the vehicle you find the bottom hose. Okay. So that's the view that you would have looking in from the front of the vehicle at the top of the radiator. Just one quick point with the caps. We always recommend that when you get a new radiator, to get a brand new cap as well. Main reasons for this being your existing cap might not be an exact fit for the new radiator, okay, and it could have rust or other types of corrosion which are going to stop it from working properly. So we always recommend a new cap to go with the new radiator. That way we can guarantee it will be an exact fit. Okay, just run through the dimensions of the core. Okay, when you're measuring your core, you're going from inside to inside. So from inside to inside is 525 millimeters. Okay, when you're doing the height again, you're going from inside to inside. Okay, and that's 450. See with the materials we use, the aluminium is a very high grade, high quality aluminium, which means your tubes and your bins very strong, you can dissipate the heat really quickly. And with the plastic we've used on the top and bottom tanks, again, it's a very high quality, high grade plastic, which is very strong. We've also got copper fittings on the automatic transmission oil cooler, which unlike the aluminium type, they won't thread or damage as easily. Okay, it's for all these reasons that we're able to do a three year, 60,000 kilometre warranty on all our radiators. Uh, hopefully this video has been a help for you to find the correct radiator for your vehicle. If you have any more questions or inquiries, please check on our site or give us a phone call on 1300 178 178. Thank you.